you gotta admit that this is much better than this. And wouldn't it be nice to get rid of this with a few simple clicks? There we go, that's better. To get rid of ads in Safari on your iPhone and iPad, all you need to do is install an ad blocker or what iOS refers to as content blockers. There are a few to choose from, but my favorite is AdGuard. Once downloaded and installed, skip through the introduction by clicking next until you get to this screen, which describes how to enable AdGuard's content blockers in Safari settings. Switch over to the settings app and scroll down to Safari. Now we have an additional option called Content Blockers where we can enable all of AdGuard's features. Once enabled, we can switch back to AdGuard and go through the other settings. You'll get prompted to subscribe to AdGuard Premium, which offers a few extra features such as DNS protection and blocking phishing scams, but the ad blocking component is completely free, so you can choose to ignore this page by clicking on the X in the corner here. If we click on the shield icon in the menu, you can see that we have the Safari ad blocker enabled and AdGuard also has a neat feature for blocking YouTube ads, which I made a video about a few weeks back if you're interested in learning about that. The next menu option provides activity stats, which is a premium feature. So we'll skip this page and move on to settings. Here you have general appearance settings where you can switch to dark mode and set data download options but back on the main menu, click into Safari protection. Here you have the option to block other web features such as social media widgets and what AdGuard refers to as annoyances, which include things like cookie notifications, subscription pop-up boxes, and messages asking you to turn off ad blockers. You can enable AdGuard's annoyance filter, but you also have the option to enable customized filters created by other AdGuard users. If we head back to the Safari protection screen, you can create your own customized filters by clicking on user rules. There's a whole wiki page explaining how to create these rules and the syntax to use. Finally, if there are websites you feel are worthy of receiving ad-based revenue, then you can add them to the whitelist here, which means you'll continue to see ads on these pages. Simply click on add domain and enter the website domain such as theverge.com. You can also do the same thing directly in Safari by clicking on the font icon and clicking turn off content blockers, which will allow ads on the site you're currently viewing. So that is how to set up AdGuard to block ads in Safari. There is however a much easier way to block ads and that is simply to install the Brave browser. Straight out of the box, Brave will block ads, trackers, and all other nasties without the need to change or configure any settings. So that is blocking ads on iPhone and iPad. If you missed my video demonstrating how to prevent apps from tracking your internet activity, then you might be interested in this. In iOS, we now have the ability to prevent apps from tracking our location and our online activity. When it comes to location tracking, there are a couple of options. You can choose whether to allow an app to know your precise location based on GPS coordinates, and you can choose whether an app is allowed to track you all of the time, just whilst you're using that app or not at all. You can set these options for each individual app by clicking on the app name in settings. Alternatively, you can disable all apps from knowing your location by clicking on privacy and disabling location services altogether. However, I wouldn't recommend doing this as some apps do have a genuine need for your location, such as navigation, Uber, and some fitness trackers. The other form of tracking is online activity tracking, where an app will log your, the websites you visit, the purchases you make, so on and so forth. Your iPhone will prompt you when an app wants to do this, and as with location, you can turn it off for each individual app. However, in this case, I can't see a good reason for allowing any app to track your internet habits, so I would recommend turning this off for all apps by opening settings, clicking on privacy, followed by tracking, and disabling the option here. So there we have it. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.